In this video, we'll be looking into the topic of input buffering. So we know that the lexical analyzer being the first phase of compiler reads the source program and converts it into tokens, reads the source program character by character uh, which can uh, and convert it into uh, tokens. So when the lexical analyzer is reading uh, the characters, uh, the source program character by character, it can take a large amount of time. It can take significant amount of it can take significant amount of time. So it's important to optimize. So it's very important to optimize the speed of. lexical anal analysis analyzer so one more thing is that lexical analyzer often needs to look ahead by one or more characters to identify the correct lexeme so let's consider an example i'll write int main and yeah consider this as a source program so here uh, all the characters would be stored line by one by one so int is written and then a space then i have main followed by space again open bracket space and close bracket so here lexical analyzer would need to look ahead it, it would need to look ahead by one or more characters to identify the correct lexeme so it will check this then this then this then this then this then this so this keeps on referring, uh, repeating. So here we use the input buffering principle. So input buffering principle. So it states that uh, we should make use of two pointers to read. So we'll be having two pointers to read. So out of that uh, two pointers would be there. One pointer is the lexeme, begin pointer and the other pointer is forward pointer. So I'll explain you how it works uh, considering this example. So uh, firstly the begin pointer I'll represent it as BP and forward pointer as FP. So forward pointer would be here and begin pointer would be at the starting both would be at the starting so forward pointer will read one character and iterate to the next point it keeps on iterating until it uh, encounters a, a space it, it keeps on moving ahead until it encounters a blank space so whenever it encounters a blank space we can say that this particular uh, all these three characters would comprise of one lexeme. So one lexeme would be identified here. And next step is that this blank space would be neglected and the FP would be here and the BP would be further shifted here. So again, FP starts reading uh, character by character. And then when it encounters again a blank space here, so this much it would be considered as one lexeme and forward would be shifted here and BP would also be shifted here. So this keeps on repeating. So uh, this the disadvantage here is it requires many system calls. So it requires many system calls. So in order to overcome this drawback, we make use of or, or we make use of two buffers. So what is what is buffering so firstly understanding what is buffering is so instead of reading character by character uh, that is lexeme by lexeme let's read entire uh, let's read block of characters by single system call so i hope you have understood what buffering means so you make use of a buffer to read one block of a character in one system call itself. 
so that could be done by using two buffers method so in two buffers method we make use of two buffers here so let's consider an example int a comma b semicolon and inside the brackets we have c is equal to a plus b and close bracket here so here we have two buffers this as buffer 1 and this as buffer 2 so here one thing to remember is that uh, typically the buffer size is same as the size of disk block we know that size of disk block uh, could be 4k for example so let's consider this first line so it would be i n t and then i have a comma b and then i have semicolon and on this side i have c is equal to a plus b yeah so i have two buffers here and the first buffer would store um, whatever the buffer size is it would store um, the elements here and in second buffer whatever is rest uh, left out would be stored here so here open bracket and here i'll write close bracket so this let's consider this so explaining this with the help of two buffers i can say that uh, fp would be here and bp bp would be here firstly so fp keeps on reading fp keeps on reading until it encounters eof eof is a special type of character which is not included while reading the uh, in so while reading the source program but eof basically means end of file so we make use of end of file to show that this this particular block has ended here so it keeps on reading in one system call int a comma b semicolon is read so that's how a buffer uh, first buffer would work after that once it encounters eof here fp and bp would shift to the next buffer from b1 it would shift to b2 here fp and here bp again fp keeps on reading the characters and when it encounters eof it will again either it will terminate here it has two options here either to terminate here or to move to the block uh, buffer one so if here i have two instructions uh, it, it has been stopped in two buffers if i have thousand instructions so it keeps on repeating from b1 it will go to b2 again b2 b1 b2 b1 b1 until and unless all the instructions are exhausted so it keeps on repeating in the case of two buffers so here uh, we have a concept of sentinels so here we have concept of sentinels as i explained sentinels are the special characters which are included in uh, the buffer so these characters are not a part of uh, these characters are not a part of uh, the while reading the characters while reading the characters these the special characters should not be included but then it are it is necessary for the pointers to identify so here that is what eof end of character is one one type of sentinel so now now that we are done with uh, input buffering we have understood what input buffering topic is we'll look into the algorithm of it so explaining the algorithm in pretty simpler terms uh, let's initialize firstly step one would be to initialize the input pointer to beginning of first buffer that is what we have done right so then step two would be we should start processing the loop until we reach the uh, end right so first step would be to read the characters pointed by the input pointer and so here we have condition if the character is 
end of buffer if the character is end of buffer one case if the character is not end of buffer so if the character is end of buffer uh, then there are uh, further uh, cases i'll explain this but before that let me explain this if the character is not end of buffer here we have a so a is not end of buffer right so it is some other character so in that case we can process the character accordingly and move to next character we can keep on repeating this until all characters are processed until all characters are processed here so if it's not a eof uh, process the character accordingly and move to next character if the character is eof here we have again two conditions if the input uh, if if the input pointer is at end of first buffer if it is at the end of first buffer what will we do will shift to the starting of second buffer if if it is at the end of first buffer move input pointer to start of second buffer if the input uh, if the input pointer is at end of second buffer then move the input buffer to the first buffer starting of first buffer here what are we doing moving it back it's called reloading this process is called as reloading otherwise if end of buffer is within the end of file is within the buffer then we need to terminate the lexical analyzer or get into this and then finally here so i have written down the algorithm in a, a pretty simple way in order to understand it so this was about input buffering topic and this is how you can uh, write the algorithm if you have any doubts do let me know in the comments and subscribe to my channel thank you